I want to share with you one of, one of the best feelings in the world for an electric unicycle rider. V11 was ordered some time ago and I just put that to the side initially I ordered that V11 back in July 10th of 2020 we are now second week of November and one of those feelings I was telling you about was what is the best feeling in the world for a newbie or anybody for that matter in the electric unicycle community and that would be the receiving of a new electric unicycle of your choice now what's important about that is that you put all the effort in it to decide which is the one you're going to purchase. So you finally make that decision to buy the, a new upgraded advanced version of the electric unicycle. Me, the only experience I have is in the V10 F. And I have accumulated approximately just a little over 1,000 or 1,100 miles if you will. And I rolled that thing like there's just no tomorrow. I use it for everything. Small errands, the pharmacy, the local, you know, 7-Eleven and so forth. And um, the only thing I couldn't take it is to work is where I work at, obviously it's not close, so that won't work. But if I could have, trust me, I would have been driving that thing to work in every chance I got. So it came a time where I said, okay, it's time for a new electric unicycle. My choice was the V11 right from the start. So I did. Back in July 10th, I placed an order on it with e-wheels. And I waited now the second week of November and it finally arrived. And I'm gonna share those good moments with you here on the V11, which I am actually riding at this moment right now at the local park. This is an awesome fall morning at the park with all the trees here in the park which you can't barely make up with. The road you're riding on, you're walking. So after accumulating so much time on the V10, it's the only V10F, that's the only one I can really compare with. It's the only one I've written. So I couldn't give you a comparison to other unicycles, maybe in the future. But I'm fairly new to this community, so uh, I can tell you right now, riding this V11 that's right here below me, I'm riding, is night and day. Uh, it took me a little while to adjust the pressure from the negative pressure to the positive pressure. But I weigh 210 pounds, which is probably 95 uh, kilograms, if you will. And um, I, the upper chamber, I took it to 70 PSI, and the lower chamber, I took it to 170 PSI. And that's where I found the happy medium. The tire pressure, originally I had a 35, I dropped it to 32 because I was getting that solid hit all the time on the wheel. It wasn't bottoming out, but I was getting that hit. So I took it down to about 32. That seems to be a better a ride, a smoother ride, especially going over bumps, you don't feel that smacking of the tire. So now I got this constant smooth uh, ride which is phenomenal. But the comparison that can only tell you is night and day. The other thing I wanted to mention is the difference in uh, climbing onto the electric unicycle versus the 10 versus the 11. It's two different machines altogether. Beautiful quality, it's amazing how they're built. The 10, as you can know, is very low off the ground and you can easily hop on it, jump off it. But after you service the suspension on the V11, climbing on it, Lily, it's like taking a, a normal step, like a regular step to the house. 
So that's something that I got conditioned to almost immediately. So that works real fine, real good. The other thing I want to mention is also different kinds of the speed, just like un unreal. Where this, this goes up a hill, it's about 35 degrees, you can just crank on this, just torque it. This thing is gonna climb up the hill. I'm 20 and 10 pounds, this thing is riding me up the hill, no problem. On my V10, can't do that. You just gotta coast it up the hill. Now that thing is gonna shut down and say, sorry buddy, I'm just gonna shut you down. So, but with this, this is a piece. Um, obviously, 500 watts more of a motor. I'm sorry, a battery. And the motor's 2200. But this got some torque behind it. But I recommend getting torque pads because um, I've been I've been trying to get used to this without torque pads. So we'll, we'll, we'll get uh, accustomed to this. And uh, I have already ridden it about 50 miles, so somewhere 47, 50 miles. But um, this is very impressive, especially with the suspension. You embrace yourself to prevent from falling off, or just get conditioning to embrace yourself. This thing just runs them over, you have no idea they're there, so that's another thing you have to be careful for. The other thing I want to mention is the wheel, the tire, if you will. The tire on the V10F is only two and a half inches, but this is three. This takes a lot of grip, so it really hugs the road when you're turning. And there's another thing you got to worry about, too, is the center of gravity in these batteries, a lot of weight on it. So the turning that you do with a V10, in my, my case, my V10F, is a lot different than this. There's a lot of weight you find there that you have to condition yourself to uh, to maneuver on turns. What a perfect morning I picked out to go riding my new V11. What an experience this thing is. Um, I've decided to get off here and take a walk because I'm just enjoying these leaves falling off the trees in this beautiful fall morning. That's a perfect example right there. <laughs> And um, I'm just excited here that uh, I was able to finally receive this uh, V11 and uh, ride it right off the right off the back. And uh, now it's just a matter to make turns. How to use the speed on it because it's got some substantial speed, speed and torque on it. And um, and it is heavy, 60 pounds. It is a heavy machine for making turns, maneuvers, braking, and so forth. And I believe that's because of the battery. It's so heavy and big on center gravity on top and the size that it makes it for a easier ride. And um, and what I like about it is, it just feels like a cow, a Bentley, compared to my V10F. That thing, you feel all the bumps and you condition yourself with your knees, your knees are literally the shock absorber along with the uh, tire. But this thing, you know, is very easy. And it's a problem you're gonna uh, realize if you ride this type of machine, is you tend to straighten your legs out. Bad move because you don't feel the bumps. So you start getting comfortable. You really don't want to do that. Get used to keep your knees bent at all times. Be prepared regardless. With this, with this uh, V11, with the uh, suspension, it's so, so easy to just straighten your feet out and just ride. But there's times where I, I did that and I'm catching myself, wow, I shouldn't do that, it's dangerous. Reminding yourself that you're on an electric unicycle, that no matter what has suspension or not, keep your knees bent for safety. And I think that's a good uh, advice there for a newbie, a guy like me. So, if you want to share your thoughts, comments on this video, like I said, I'm fairly new to this. I'm just sharing my part at the electric unicycle community. Subscribe, hit like. That's really appreciated. Thank you. I really do.